we're going to continue working on our Calder sculpture. Over his lifetime, Calder made hundreds of sculptures out of wire and metal. Last time, we looked at four sculptures made by Calder for different cities. Notice how each of these sculptures is made up of multiple pieces that are attached together to make an interesting sculpture. We're going to try to do the same here. Now we're at the point where we can attach the pieces that we glued together to the piece that's glued to our base. We can do this in a variety of ways. We can rest these pieces on the base and cut slits to attach them. We can attach them in multiple places. We can bend a piece and attach one piece in a couple places. The possibilities are really endless. Think about how you want to attach each piece. And when you've come up with a good solution, draw your guideline first. Think about how the piece will attach and the direction that it will go in when it does attach. You may notice it doesn't behave exactly like you expect, so you're going to have to be a little bit flexible in your thinking. You might end up with a couple happy accident situations. Just like we've done before, we're going to cut on the slit and then right next to the slit. Removing that center part. And we'll do the same thing over here. It's going to be a little unwieldy because of the base, but you can do it. You might feel a little bit uncomfortable with how much of the cardboard is showing and how much of the paint has scratched off, but don't worry because we'll touch that up at the very end. Now we're going to test how our pieces fit together first before we do anything else. And those actually fit together quite nicely, so I'm ready to glue them. We'll use the same process with our glue brush applying paint to that slit on both pieces. And then we'll slot our pieces together. Since I also like how mine is touching the base, I'm going to want to make more of these strips from my extra cardboard and attach it so that it doesn't come up. I probably only need one on this side to secure it. As I did before, I'm going to hold it down and make sure that it is all the way glued before I let go. I'll continue adding on to my sculpture, looking at it from all different angles to see where the next piece will fit best. Remember that I can bend my pieces and slot them in in two different places. Once I've figured out exactly where I want to slot them in, I'll draw my guidelines. And make my slits. In this case, I want to attach this piece in two different places. This presents a unique challenge and I'm going to have to be creative with my problem solving. <laughs> 